In this video, I'm going to review a ski rack. Though this is a, from a Ford, but these are made by uh, the company Yakima, so you can see that. And they have the sticker on this Ford, and I needed a ski rack. And usually these ski racks are so expensive, I don't know why. They are in the range of 300 to $400 for a ski rack. Um, I happen to get these off uh, Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. So I got it for $20 plus some shipping and stuff. And this is in really good shape. So I didn't find a lot of reviews on these. And I'm going to uh, have this uh, review so that anyone who is looking for a ski rack can uh, figure out what to do or what to get. First thing is you have to look at your uh, uh, at your SUV or car and see what kind of roof rack you have and in my case I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee this is a 2001 WJ and you will see a lot of videos on my channel of this Jeep repairing I had this Jeep for 24 years since it was new so this is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee now mine came with the crossbars and in many cases you may not have the crossbars so your roof racks will depend on what you want to buy. Some roof racks do come with crossbars and they will attach right to the roof rails. And these are probably in your car or SUV, but if you don't have these, you might have some attachment where your, those ski racks might attach, but you have to check that. In my case, it's much easier because I have these crossbars. So what I have to do is measure these, how wide these are, and based on that, you can buy any of these ski racks. The ones that I got, you can see these will fit perfectly, and the way it is, it has these attachments, and then these bolts go in um, from the front to the back. Now, if you look at the picture, it says the front of the vehicle to the right, and so they want you to attach these, these attachments with the, the screw in the back. So these fly nuts will be in the back and this will go in uh, this way so that it is facing the front of the car. So I'm going to attach these. Now, the way these ones work is you have a latch and then a key for a lock. So the latch is is pretty, uh, it's all plastic, but it, these have a little bit of spring over here, and then they have these pads. Now these pads will save your skis from damage, so you should look for whether these pads are good enough when you're buying a used one. I was lucky to get these almost pretty much unused, um, and uh, very cheap, but I've seen other racks for sale for close to like seventy dollars to hundred dollars um, and looks like those are still a good value if you get a good one these are pretty easy and to put these on i just open it up so that these can do rotate all the way so you can pretty much tighten it without need for any tools and this side has the bolt is 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 uh, good it's a metal bolt so and the the fly nut has a metal uh, nut as well but the problem is you can see that there is a gap in here and what will happen at highway speeds this will start moving across so you don't want to leave it uh, not secured to the rails and what i did was I took a little piece of insulation for, say example, the water pipe insulation, and I cut a little piece, and you can see I have put the little piece in there underneath. So if I take it out, you can see that I have a little bit of foam, and that should stay in there, and it should attach much uh, snug than without this foam in there. Now a few things that I thought it, it's important to mention here is I mounted 
the rack to open towards the passenger side in case I have to get to it in the middle of a highway or something. I don't want to do it from the driver's side. So I kept the opening on the passenger side. So this is the right front of, the right side is the front of the car. Second thing is, this can fit up to, up to four skis. You can see I have four skis here, different lengths, and we are a family of four, but I actually carry an extra pair of skis. So my kids ski can go inside the, uh, in the back of the SUV, but the rest of the four are fitting here. This other thing that you might want to consider is facing the skis backwards. So you can see the front of the skis are towards the back of the car. And guess why that is? Because that will reduce the road noise. With the ski rack, it will automatically have a lot of road noise, which you are probably not aware or you, you may not think that it will be that bad, but usually it is quite a lot of road noise. And depending on how wide your skis are, you may be able to, so in my case, my skis are a little wider, you may want to fit only three skis. In the front, you can see that I'm not able to fit this back. So I'll take one of the kids' skis and put it in the back. The other thing is the clearance here. So just make sure I have kind of enough clearance here and you can see that it's not touching the roof. But in your case, you may want to check how high this bar is sitting. So that's another piece is it needs to clear the uh, bindings on your ski. So with three skis, it has enough space for this to lock. And I want to secure it as, as much as I can. Same with this side. Note that this will be tight. And then the last thing is I have these locks. So I have the key as well. So if you don't have a key, you may want to make sure that you have a key to lock these. And now what this does is it will not let this open. And for example, if you are at a rest area or overnight, I'll put these in the, in the inside of the car when we, we are sleeping, but you don't want anyone to steal these. And especially with this locked, they can't steal this ski rack either way. So let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, you can comment on the video. I'll try to answer it. Again, this is a Yakima ski rack for an SUV or any car which has a cross member.